What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide video as part of our ultimate training guides playlist. We've got loads of players already done. We've also got Stevie G done if you want to check that out. But today we are looking at Fernando Torres. Make sure and check out the playlist in full. There's a lot of videos in these ultimate training guides. And what we do is we give different versions of the player in how you should train him up, dependent on your play style, dependent on who else is in your starting 11, depending on what you want to get out of the card and what role you want him to play for you for your squad, right? So Fernando Torres, one of the best strikers to ever grace the Premier League, in my opinion. And as I said, that's coming from a Manchester United fan. I loved Torres when I was younger, especially when he was at Atletico bursting through the scenes. Um, and then with Spain as well. He was just so good. And of course, he was always a beast in the Pez franchise as well. He was one of the best players to buy in MLO, in my club, um, or any of those, you know, any of those games that like started off kind of when he was still, I wouldn't say in his prime, but even in Master League, he was a beast, right? So the first thing we're going to take a look at with this card is his form, which is not set at unwavering, it is a standard, but he does have B rating, which is going to be set because he is an epic player, right? Now, next up, we have the player skills. Now, this card, this Taurus card, is very interesting because of the additional balance stat that he has that was not on the other cards that they have released so far. So, the big issue with a lot of the really good strikers that have good finishing, good offensive awareness, and good acceleration or speed don't have good balance, right? And taller players, the taller players in the game, are very unbalanced with the balance stats. So you think of the likes of Haaland, you think of Lewandowski, Benzema. The reason for this is they've kind of nerfed tall players running and dribbling with the ball. So in when he Football 22 launched, Haaland was able to dribble with the ball the same as Romario, right? And Mbappe. That's kind of changed now that you really need to pick your positions that you're going to be, you know, sprinting forward with the likes of Haaland or Oshiman, no matter what his other stats are, right? So Torres does have that... Um, as a kind of a unique setup, right? In that he's a tall player, he's got high balance, and he's got good finishing straight off the bat, right? We look at his player skills, he's got double touch, he's got scotch move, he's got soul control, and then finishing stats, he's got first time shot, acrobatic finishing, and heading an outside curler, and then passing stats, he's got that outside curler, which will kick in with that, and the one touch pass. So on paper, he is a beast, right? He is a beast on paper. I'm slightly disappointed with his acceleration because it stops him from being an absolute godly meta player. Um, but I do think that his balance is going to be extremely overpowered because of the way that the gameplay is at the moment. But we'll get into that, right? So we are going to jump over to eFootballDB and we're going to take a look at the first version of his card. So this is, when I think of Torres, this is kind of like prime you know, explosively fast Torres that we're going to train up here, right? We're going to max out his dexterity with 15 points as much as we can. That's going to give us 93 offensive awareness, which as a goal poacher, he's going to be making incredible runs off the last shoulder. And he's going to be trying to come out when he needs the ball and go in when you're going forward with the ball, right? With your AMF or CMF. We've got 81 dribbling. When he gets the ball at his feet, he'll be able to turn and run. He's also got 85 finishing, which is more than enough if you're fairly decent at the game. 95 balance is huge for a player this tall with those dribble stats, with one touch pass, and with the speed and acceleration in the 80s as well as 80 kicking power. So I think this is an extremely good build for Torres. I do feel that I am a little bit disappointed when I was doing the review of this player. I am a little bit disappointed with his lack of acceleration, like that blister and pace. I think if he even had 88 acceleration with this build here, He'd still be balanced because of the finishing and the dribbling, but it would just give you that little pep in your step to be able, for him to be able to compete with Romario and Eto, right? But the balance is a really, really good kind of parameter of how the players are going to be balanced going forward, in my opinion, right? The second version of him then will probably be suited for players that like to play a bit of possession, like to play the ball around a bit, like to take their time on the ball a little bit more. We've already got the same player skills. We've got everything pretty much the same. But instead of maxing out the dexterity, we're only going to pump 10 into that. And we're also going to pump 10 into shooting to bring us to 90 balance, 90 finishing, 88 offensive awareness. We also put up the dribbling a little bit more to get 80 dribbling. So it's slightly different. We have this one at 88, but we have 80 dribbling with this one. He's more of a well-rounded player. He's going to be moving the ball quickly and like depending on his one-touch pass player skill. But we've got 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 kick and power, 80 curl, 80 dribbling. So he's a very, very, very balanced player and a complete center forward to base your attacks on we also have a couple into heading as well 
that brings up his jump and his heading ability and uh, double that up with his actual heading player skill and you've got a fairly good center forward right now as i said about the balance right this is the version of Torres that starts off. He's 83 overall with 80 balance. This is previous versions of Torres, right? So this guy was 85, but look at the difference in the balance. Minus 10 with this card onto the balance, which is a huge difference. He had better speed and better acceleration, um, but he had worse finishing and worse balance. This card here had minus 9 on balance, right? And minus 1 on finishing. They're both identical cards, obviously. Um, just one was a carryover card. And then this card here that they had released the epic version of him, the first one, um, this card here has got 65 balance. So you can see what I'm talking about with the balance compared to 80. Like when you're talking about this, you're not going to be able to get this card in on par with this one. This was the Spanish version here. So obviously there's a couple of differences. This guy had different um, player skills such as rising shot and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this Torres is, is a beast depending on how you train him up. So that is it for me, lads, in another player ultimate player guide in the ultimate player playlist. I'll be back quite soon with a Xabi Alonso one. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.